Let's talk about the new Age of Sigma spearhead boxes. So we're going to go through the contents of these and the values of them. Um, and we're going to talk about spearhead in general. So basically spearhead is the new name for the Vanguard boxes for Age of Sigma. Um, points wise and that kind of thing, pretty much similar. No pricing on this. So the, um, the Vanguard boxes were £85 in the UK. We don't know what these will be. I get the feeling that they might have a different range of pricing. I don't think they'll all be the same. And we'll get into why in a minute. But basically, yeah, so these are the new boxes. Uh, a decent force of a different faction with each box. So let's quickly run through what we get with each one. So starting with the Cities of Sigmar. So we get a Free Guild Cavalier Marshal. That is the big horse at the bottom there. We get... Five Free Guild Cavaliers, that is the five mounted units there. We get the Iron World Great Cannon, that's the one in the top corner. And then the rest of these guys, they are the Free Guild Steel Hems. You get 10 of those. Now, if you add up the cost of all of those, that comes to £140. So if this box does go for £85, that's 39% saving, so yeah, pretty, pretty much 40% saving, which is pretty good. Now, that is more than you got in savings from some of the Vanguard boxes, but I think that £85, I don't think it will be very different from that. And the reason is, well, the reason is we'll get onto it in the Flesh Eater Quartz box. Um, now, in terms of a force, this lot on their base values will set you back 550 points. So there's a fair bit there. Now, moving on to the Flesh Eater Quartz, we have in the bottom left, so that is an Aberrant Arch Regent. The guys all around him, you get 10 of those, so that is the new, the new Crypt Guard. The three mounted guys on the kind of horrible bat-looking things, so that is three Morpeg Knights. And then that last one in the top right-hand corner, that is a Vargolf Courtier. Now, if you buy this lot separately, this comes in at quite a bit less than the Cities of Sigmar. It comes in at £111.50. So if, for example, these boxes were set at £85, that would be about a 24% saving. Um, so somewhat different. But funnily enough, when you look at the point value, um, Cities of Sigmar was 550 points. This lot actually brings you up to 690. And the reason for that really is the Aberrant Arge Regent. For whatever reason, and I don't, I don't play, um, I don't play Flesh Eater Quartz, but when I, look, when I looked at that on the app, he is very expensive. Um, he actually comes out at 240 points, which I was really surprised at. Um, so yeah, 690 points. But... I have to say, most of the content in here, especially in the, the um, well, sorry, in the Flesh Eater Quartz, it's all pretty much new. Except for that Aberrant Arch region. I think he's been around for a little while. I'm not sure if that's the new one, or there, there was one very similar to it from a few years back. And then obviously, all the Cities of Sigma stuff, we know that that's all new. But... Um, but certainly I think they look like decent forces. If they're sensibly priced, um, then it might be worth looking at. So again, for myself, I haven't bought any Games Workshop products in quite some time. And it, that, that's no vendetta or anything like that. It's a personal choice. Um, you know, I'm not saying that I've felt, fallen out of love with Games Workshop at all. I still love all their products and that kind of thing. I just haven't purchased anything. And I very much doubt I will ever go and buy a um so for, for like these guys i don't think i'd ever go and buy any of the individual units at the price that they're set for so so for example 10 crypt guard i wouldn't pay 30 quid for those uh just in the same way as like cities of sigma um the cavaliers the three the sorry the five mounted units on that 40 quid i wouldn't be i wouldn't spend my money on that anymore but perhaps if with a decent enough discount for boxes like this it might be a way for me to stay in the game. But yeah, they all look very good. It'd be interesting to see A, what the price is, and B, what other boxes come out. I hope it supports like these do to like these two do. 
I really hope it supports newer things. So newer boxes, newer units that come out. I hope it's a decent way to be able to pick those up without paying full value. So yeah, very much looking forward to these. So I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, much appreciated. If you wanna support the channel, do so by using the Element Games link, which is down in the description and in the comments. Um, that is just a little kickback for me, but you still get the same great saving. But I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching guys, much appreciated. I will catch you later. <laughs>